And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself, or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him, shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his Father's, and of the holy angels. The Most High said, If you wish to follow him, you must deny yourself. Many Israelites need to learn how to deny oneself. You cannot put yourself first and serve the Most High. If you serve the Most High, you are a servant for the Most High. A servant serve the people. Let me remind you, Israelites, do not mistake servitude with slavery. There is a difference. Servants have great rewards waiting for them in the coming kingdom. As a servant, you are to encourage the people of the Most High to build a personal relationship with the Most High. When Yahshua began his ministry, he did not make himself to be an elite king that everyone must serve. Yahshua was a humble servant, teaching and leading the lost sheep of the house of Israel back to the Most High. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. In this present generation that is governed by the beast system, Lawlessness equals to being blessed and highly favored. If you're flashy, the world welcomes you, and the love of money is what motivates you to strive, in addition preaching prosperity, the beast system said you are blessed and highly favored. Most pastors, especially mega church pastors, are flashy and live like the workers of iniquity. They have mega mansions, private jets, and material wealth. You cannot distinguish the difference between the servants in religion and the workers of iniquity. These so-called servants in religion live like the workers of iniquity the Bible speaks of. Yahshua, the Messiah that came in the Father's name and the world rejected, did not have a place to lay his head. Yahshua slept in the homes of the people who welcomed him. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes. And birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Many servants in the beast system profess to be followers of the humble Messiah that came in the Father's name. The life they live is not the example Yahshua displayed. When the time came for the world to know that Yahshua is the Messiah or servant sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Yahshua did not ask the Most High for a red carpet arrival a documentary explaining his progress, a ceremony to proclaim his ministry. Yahshua did not ask the Most High to make him famous, nor ask the Most High for money. Yahshua made his grand entrance riding on a donkey, a humble servant ready to serve. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the coat, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. And the multitudes that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! Even as I please all men in all things, not seeking mine own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. Satan's servants have a laundry list of requirements before they even bother to roll out of bed. They need a private jet to get around. You must feed their ego in order for them to accept leading a church service that is beneath their star power. The servants of the beast system do not resemble the Messiah they claim to follow. Yeshua came to teach his people. The servants of the beast system wants money, power, and fame. Satan's disciples are seeking followers after themselves. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Israelites, 
I hope you are able to recognize Satan's disciples. Do not mistake these workers of iniquity to be members of the few that were chosen by the Most High. By examining their behavior, you can identify the rotten fruits they are producing. The scripture said by their fruits, you would know them. The scriptures also inform us to test their spirits. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Satan imitate everything the Most High does. His imitations have a form of godliness, but far from the truth. Satan's servants, the workers of iniquity, pose as angels of light. The workers of iniquity appear to be righteous. The scripture says Satan's ministers transform themselves into servants of the Most High. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Israelites, this is why the Most High do not make decisions solely on appearance. Remember, the people the Most High created and breathed the breath of life into are a dark hue people. Because his creation closely resemble each other, the Most High use bloodline. In addition, the Most High examine your heart to determine your integrity. The B system operate on appearance. The race classification is based on a person's skin color and birthplace. If you meet this world's standards, you will prosper in the B system. Unfortunately, many people make decisions solely on appearance. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. If you take the time to examine Satan's servants, you will quickly identify that they represent the kingdom of darkness. There are many high-level workers of iniquity operating out of the church. Remember, religion is idolatry. Witchcraft and idolatry goes hand in hand. You cannot have idolatry without witchcraft. It is important to pay attention to the rituals playing out before your eyes. We will soon look into their rituals. In the religion culture, if pastors do not possess material wealth and influence, he or she is considered a false servant. Matter of fact, the high level workers of iniquity would deem the servant a sinner that needs deliverance. Satan do not persecute the ones that submit to him. The Most High said he chastised the ones he love. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Hardship and persecution is not only signaling a person has fallen into sin. The purpose of the persecution could lead to many things, deliverance, graduation, judgment, or oppression. Presently in the beast system, if you proclaim to be called by the Most High, you must possess influence and material wealth, just like the workers of iniquity to be accepted by the world. In addition, your message must fit the world's standards. If your destiny speak against the beast system, Satan's chosen people will label your divine mission, hate speech, and conspiracy theories. Remember, we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. The workers of iniquity who establish themselves through religion and birthplace instead of bloodline wants to remove every single trace of anything that is pertaining to the Most High. They want to raise their idols as supreme. You cannot trust everyone who profess to be followers of Christ and worship a graven image. The scripture said many are called, but only a few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. 
a servant for the Most High do not care if he or she fit into this world's standards. A servant of the Most High know that this world hates them and do not accept them. Yeshua was chosen and came to fulfill what was written about him. Yeshua did not possess material wealth. Yeshua did not give the spirit of pride an opportunity to establish a covenant. He was quick to rebuke the devils. Yeshua was about his father's business. And he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? When you are about your father's business, you do not care about material wealth, nor would you allow money to become an idol in your life. Your focus will be on serving your purpose and making sure to fulfill your destiny. Just as Yeshua said repeatedly that he came to fulfill what was written about him. The servants of the Most High do not focus on how the workers of iniquity in the beast system live, nor do they compete with the workers of iniquity. A servant of the Most High do not entertain devils. He or she will rebuke devils swiftly. A servant of the Most High is not seeking wisdom from the beast system. Everything the servants of the Most High does represents the Most High and Yah's name is at risk. Therefore, a true servant of the Most High will see to it that he or she do not disgrace the Most High. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord and not unto men. Israelites, it is imperative that you understand if you wish to be a servant, disciple, or whatever title you bestow upon yourself, you must deny yourself and take up your cross. You cannot serve two masters. With that being said, if you want to participate in spreading the truth to the words of the Most High, you must be bold as a lion. Be prepared for battle every single day. The Most High said in the last days, during the birth pangs, they will persecute and murder the servants of the Most High. Are you prepared to pay the ultimate price? Yeshua served the Most High unto death. The workers of iniquity, the Roman Jews, hang him on a tree. The descendants of the Roman Jews are persecuting us now. Yah said they would murder his servants for his namesake. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Israelites, the awakening is not about creating channels and pages just to talk. This is the real deal. The workers of iniquity with the kingdom of darkness do not want to see their kingdom end. They are going to do whatever they can to prolong their dominance over you. Serving the Most High is not a popularity contest, nor who rehearse the scriptures the best. Stop focusing on the seen things and start looking at the unseen. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Do not allow the beast system to shape your minds. Recently, a celebrity came out and shared to the world what many people like myself have been revealing to Israelites and the strangers. Nick Cannon told the world the truth about our culture heritage. The workers of iniquity who proclaim to be Israelites, but they are the synagogue of Satan. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The high-level workers of iniquity were furious. Their reaction to what was said caught many people's attention. If what Nick said was false, why fire the man? It is because it is true they want to make an example out of him. If they label what Nick said hate speech and conspiracy, many would support their bullying. Instead, everyone is looking deeper into his claims. Israelites, the ones who establish themselves through religion and birthplace, stock our channels and pages. By doing this, they can plant evil seeds to interrupt the awakening. Some Israelites were upset when they found out Nick apologized. The scripture said, Many have great zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. We have to allow the Most High to disciple us. We must stay rooted in the Word to gain the wisdom needed to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. 
If Nick had allowed the Holy Spirit to lead and put his trust in the Most High, there would be no need for an apology. If Nick stood firm, the Most High would have protected him and fight for him. Israelites, it is important to allow the Most High to lead you. Do not run ahead of the Most High. Some Israelites believe Nick apologized because of his love of money. The scripture said, you cannot serve two masters. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Nick Cannon work in a satanic industry that is overrun by occultists. Hollywood and the music industry is Satan's playground. Hollywood stars are slaves to the kingdom of darkness. I want you to view Nick's situation with your spiritual eyes. I want you to shift your focus to the unseen. Nick had no choice but to apologize. He's a puppet. While everyone is focused on the reason for the apology, I want to point out what is hidden in plain sight. This picture revealed to me ritual, possibly for the leaders of Viacon, and Nick is in danger. Red symbolized danger and red is an occult color. In the spirit realm, if you see anyone in red, this usually symbolizes danger and ritual. Nick is Mark. The workers of iniquity that was reprogramming him by educating him with white lies, the rabbi was there to make sure Nick comply. While you are focused on money, I see danger and I am sure the workers of iniquity will take out one of his family members or him. Israelites, you have to stop drinking milk and graduate to solid food. Like I said before, this is the real deal. You have to stay ahead of your enemy. You must know how the enemy operate. Idolatry goes hand in hand with witchcraft. Religion is idolatry. The world welcomes religion. My platform is not as large as Nick and the workers of iniquity persecute my channel. Remember the word that I said unto you? The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If the kingdom of darkness persecute me, reject the Father, and persecute the Messiah, what do you believe they have done to Nick behind the scene that made him apologize? Do not focus on the seen things. You must examine the workers of iniquity just as they examine your every move. A servant of the Most High must be bold as a lion, shrewd like a snake, and gentle like doves. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. If you do not believe the Most High is capable of protecting and delivering his servants, pray and ask the Most High to help your unbelief. A true servant of the Most High has absolute assurance that the Most High can deliver his servants out of any situation. Our ancestors did not deliver themselves out of bondage. Throughout the scriptures, you will find that it was the Most High behind the scene fighting for his people. We have many Israelites serving the Most High with their lips, and their hearts are far from the Most High. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Israelites, you have to believe the Most High exists, and He is capable of delivering you. Without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a reward of them that diligently seek Him. When you are double-minded about the affairs of the Most High, you will be unstable in everything that you do. It's either you're for the Most High or against Him. In the times we're living, every servant of the Most High must stand their ground, regardless to the outward conditions. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Most High allows Satan to come against Job. Remember, Satan and the workers of iniquity cannot attack without permission. In addition, they need a covenant. 
Job lost everything, including his children. His wife tried to convince him to curse Yah and die. Job was found to be a righteous servant that stood his ground. He did not allow anyone to cause him to doubt the Elohim of Israel. After all the persecutions, Job was rewarded double for his trouble. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Israelites, Nothing that you go through for the sake of serving the Most High goes unnoticed by Yah. The Most High will reward you openly. Satan will try to persuade you to serve him by giving you the desires of your flesh. The kingdom of darkness increases army in this generation through the love of money and sexual lust. Satan will offer you money if that will cause you to turn your back on the Most High. Many Israelites in the awakening and in the beast system happily serve the kingdom of darkness for money. The Israelite community is full of workers of iniquity, using the scriptures to support the lust of the flesh. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. By their fruits you will know them. Standing your ground is imperative, especially if you are a servant that was called by the Most High. Many are looking to you on how to serve the Most High. If you produce horrible fruits, the sheep would imitate what they see. For example, the doctrines of devils being taught by the agents among us, doctrines such as you are what your father is, this doctrine is appealing to many Israelites' flesh. Therefore, many will happily accept the doctrine. Because the lust of the flesh dominate the spirit of the Most High in them, Israelites are serving the kingdom of darkness and furthering the agenda of the workers of iniquity. Many Israelites have yet to surrender fully to the Most High. But if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. It is expected for celebrities to retract their statements and belief. The kingdom of darkness owned them. Many of them have sold their soul for money. In addition, the fruits they produce reveal they are not of the Most High, but serve the beast system. You must look to the Most High for guidance. The workers of iniquity who stole our identity, the ones who established themselves via religion and birthplace, the fruits they produce clearly reveal whom they serve. They use their stolen identity for personal gain. How can they be the people of the Most High when they do not serve the people? They make sure to barricade themselves in their wealthy gated communities. In addition, enslave everyone to their corporations and censor those who do not submit to their bigotry. True servants of the Most High serve. They do not oppress. The ones who stole our identity live a privileged life in the beast system. That is why they have billion dollar corporations and among the richest on this earth next to their brothers, the Romans, the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan, the Roman Catholic Church. There is no difference between the ones who stole our identity and the Roman Catholic Church. Israelites, a servant serve the people. A servant see to it that the Most High's will is being done. You must stand firm. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to deceive you. There is absolutely nothing the kingdom of darkness could offer you to trade your glory for the lesser. The enemy should not have the ability to pluck you out of the hands of the Most High. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. We are living in serious times. We all need to humble ourselves to see the hands of Yah in our lives and communities. Being among the few servants chosen means you are to serve, not being served. Yahshua left behind an example. In addition, understood he was sent to serve the people of the Most High. Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. Israelites, it is important that you understand your destiny. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to cause you to drift from serving the Most High. 
The righteous are immovable. It is time that we get back to serving the Most High. No matter what the kingdom of darkness send your way, make sure to stand your ground. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace.